Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Matthias Wagner of Abacus Spiele looking at Alles on Board from Carlo Rossi. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which it was, it was, I like the description of this. You sent me the rules ahead of time and it seemed interesting. It seemed like a sort of galaxy trucker ish. Yes. For the a family. Light version. For yes. The family yes. 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 That's here. what people say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it seemed like a great, great idea. We, 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 so yeah. Maybe now you share with other people how it works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will. I okay. mean, that was one of the fastest decisions for a game we had last year. He presented that and at home that was the first prototype we pulled out and played and we immediately say said that's our game for next year. So done. Um, yeah. Every designer can wish it was easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sometimes it is as easy. So. Okay. Well, <laughs> who knows how long it took Carlo to to do this? Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah. he he took years. He <laughs> slaved over this forever, and now it's finally out, or almost out. Okay. So we are pirates. Mm, no? Actually not. No, we no. are friendly people. Friendly we, we, people. We, we will meet. I that. We will meet pirates maybe. Okay. We're more like okay. uh, friendly seafarers and. Um, we all have a ship, and um, yes, we want to go on a journey okay. twice, in, because we're playing two rounds, and return home as rich men or women. And um, so each round, so each journey is split in two phases. First phase is we have an empty ship, so we have to fill our ship with all the stuff, all equipment we need on our trip. Uh, and the second phase is actually resolving what we will encounter on our journey. Right. Uh, we have this pile of equipment tiles in the middle. It's just placed in the middle, no matter if the tiles are face down, face up, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and then we have these adventure cards placed around that. It's a, a certain number of each type. There are four types. It's the uh, discoveries we can make, there's some trades we can make, we can also face pirates which might be dangerous and uh, we have contracts meaning things we have to bring home to earn even more money. Okay. Um, all players are shouting something like all aboard and then we start playing at the same time. Uh, first thing we all have to help revealing uh, the cards around here Yes, thank you. And uh, now we see it's kind of a preview what will happen on our journey. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the cards usually have something on the left, which are these equipment tiles, or also on these equipment tiles. And uh, if we give that away later, if we have it on the ship, we, we can earn money, or for some we will earn these goods, which we have to store on our ship. And if we later return home, we can even uh, trade these goods uh, uh, to, to money. Or there are some trades on our journey with uh, um, uh, changing goods in even more and different goods. Okay. Um, so we see that and we start playing at the same time, grabbing those tiles with one hand, one arm, not, no fights, um, and putting them on our ship. Each ship has uh, 12 spaces, 12 slots for, for these tiles. And you cannot look for every card. It's a speed element. You have to look for the most valuable things that you might want to do. You can focus on pirates maybe, or look for very, very valuable discoveries and so on. Um, everybody fills the ship with, his, with the equipment tiles. Um, some may be on deck. So visible for the others, some may be under deck, there's a small screen here uh, uh, where you can hide some of the tiles. And in this phase, you're only allowed to take two of those goods with you. Okay. So um, you'll probably choose those on the, um, on the trade cards here. So for example, I take the purple and the orange and I go on putting the tiles on my ship. Um, there are some special tiles like the um, double hold. Yes, you have double two hold. On there? Right. I, it's not. I cannot use it to fulfill any card, but I can store more of the goods. Depending on the setup of the cards, it may yes. change. Uh, right. So the first player who finishes uh, filling his ship, 
he will start quickly collecting all the cards and hide them from the other players. Uh, they can still go on uh, filling the ships. They can have a look at what other collected, but they only see the things that are on deck. Okay. Um, when everybody's finished filling his ship, then the second phase begins. It's, it's the journey part. Uh, the player who was fastest uh, filling a ship shuffles the cards and reveals them one by one. Okay. And so, for example, the, the trade card is revealed, and if you took the correct thing with you, uh, then you give it away and uh, store those on empty spaces. But remember, the ship is full in the beginning, so you there are other cards, of course, if you... Uh, fulfill this, then you give them away, then you have make space for more right. for more goods. You can also say you voluntarily uh, put, uh, throw you something throw overboard yeah. to, to make room for more. Or if you have this, that's the, the storing tiles, that's also very good. Okay. So um, for the contracts, they have a symbol, so they are, they go under the stack. Uh, under the deck, they will be resolved last. So it's when you come home, you should have the right uh, uh, goods with you. For the pirates, it's also special. They are not uh, reveal, uh, revealed immediately. Everybody will be asked, do you want to face the pirates or do you want to flee? Uh, if you flee, that's fine. You will not have the chance to fulfill the card when it's flipped. Uh, but if you stay, then you have to uh, have these two equipment tiles on board and give them away. Uh, if not, you will be punished by paying money and giving away a good if you have it. I mean, in, at the start of the first round, you don't have money, so you will only have to pay a, a good, maybe. Um, pirates can be valuable. I mean, that you can choose the color of goods, and maybe you remember the, the colors you need for the contracts later. Uh, they may have money, but you can also play without focusing on the pirates. Uh, so these go down, and then you have the adventure and so on. You, you go through the deck, everybody has the chance to fulfill the cards, and at the end of the round you have uh, um, the, the contracts, you reveal them. Usually you have a ship with uh, less tiles and uh, full of goods, right? And then you see, you look, do I have the goods? Okay, right, I give them back and take money. Maybe you also earn some money with some discoveries. So maybe after the round, you will end up with uh, a few goods that you couldn't exchange. Uh, they are still worth one point each. So you give them away, take the money. And all the tiles you didn't use, they go back to the uh, to the middle and uh, you prepare for your second journey but before you have to um, exchange each 10 money that you have into a treasure chest which goes on your ship blocking your space this also means players who played better than the others in the first round they might have one more uh, treasure chest they have one less space for uh, for the second round. It's a light catch-up mechanism, and also the player who um, who had the least money from the first round will receive a parrot, putting it on his sail. And the parrot is a joker for an equipment tile. We then prepare different cards for uh, um, a new round. Play a second round, and after returning home, the one who had the most money wins the game. All right. There you go. Thank you, Matthias. Where were you? Alice on board. Uh, due out mm, April? April, yes. 2018. Yes. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>